big old bomber two point. This is chewed up. Second there, Yes, sir. Look how heavy that is. Guys, check it out. We just dropped a bunch of new hoodies and a bunch of new hats on our store at GetHushin.com. Uh, so go to the website to check those out. And also, every time you order on our website, you're automatically entered to win the Ultimate New Mexico Elk Hunt Experience. So every dollar you spend is two automatic entries to win the Elk Hunt Giveaway. And like I said, we got a whole bunch of new stuff. So go check it out at GetHushin.com and enjoy the video. Morning, guys. We're just here at camp. We just woke up. We set the alarm pretty early because we wanted to get hiking while wow, it's cool and it is pretty chilly ben said he got a little cold last night but the sun hasn't even come up and uh let me run you through my my day pack setup so this is the exo pack k3 frame with the 1800 bag i've got a nalgene two water bottles i've got a mountain dew in there too an uncrustable i am packing my 18s i might regret that a little bit but i've got the tripod adapter so a really lightweight Vortex tripod. Check out the snack attack. What's up? It's funny, we do this over and over and we eat the same snacks over and over. Hopefully somebody hits the pocket. That's the goal. But yeah, welcome to another Shed Tour video, guys. It's gonna be a good one. We all split up and the day is just getting started. So, sandal. And I have decided to explore. This is completely new country to me so far. Nothing too exciting for elk sign. Extremely thick junipers. Not my favorite stuff to, to shed hunt. So I'm just going to kind of make a pass or two through here to get the vibes. See if there's a lot of track droppings. Obviously look for sheds. But if there's not, I've got some spots I kind of checked out on Onyx that look a little more open and a little more steep which is kind of what I like is big slopes, brushy slopes that I can glass. So we'll give this a pass or two, but so far not the zone. Matt checking in for the day. Uh, I got up on this big ridge top and glassed some really good looking stuff for about the last 45 minutes with no luck. So now I'm just dropping down this canyon. I'm gonna skirt up the other side and hopefully find a couple more well find a couple antlers i haven't found any yet today well we're off to a pretty slow start but we got the icebreaker shed right there just a little deucer mule deer shed ow i got a cactus in my leg that doesn't feel so good huh yeah big old bomber two point We'll take it. Decided to uh, drop some elevation and get out in this more open country because I want a glass. So far, it's not popping. Nobody's found anything. So I'm pretty sure that this is shed number one. Well, just finally found my first antler of the day. It's 9.45. So I've been hiking for about three hours and it's a old chalk chewed up antler. It's pretty decent. Bull though, he would have been. Ugh. He is chewed up on every single part of this antler. I think his base is gone. Every time he's just chewed up. That one's gonna have to stay here. We've got old sign so far, nothing too crazy. Nice rub here. Where did you take your antlers, mister? Show us the good stuff. I've done well on this stuff before, but I'll tell you what, it sucks to, sucks to hike and it's hard to see them. But I think that's why they're in here. So I'm just gonna skirt across a couple of these small ridges that are mostly brush and see what's going on. I didn't know what to expect down here for water, but good night, there's a ton.
man as dry as it is out here there is quite a bit of water looks like it runs down that creek bed so must be coming in from up high somewhere but yeah that is plenty of water if I need a drink I know where to come That'll help keep me cool. Guys, don't forget, uh, new apparel at GetHushin.com and also the New Mexico Elk Hunt giveaway is going on. Every dollar you spend on the website equals one automatic entry to win an elk hunt with us. So go get yourself some new gear at, you know the site, GetHushin.com. But yeah, this is going to help keep me cold. 1.15 p.m. And let me tell you what, we're getting absolutely worked in this area for elk shed sounds like the other guys found a couple chalks but nothing even worth keeping yet i haven't even seen an elk shed very little elk track you'll get into little pockets of sign but it doesn't last long and it hasn't produced anything so ah more proof that trying new country and bombing into some untouched or unscouted uh, stuff isn't always the best plan. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This time, it didn't. Ooh, those are slick. Old, but look at that big old bear crap and all the berries he's eating. Must be a ton of bears in this place. I've seen plenty of that all day. So I'm gonna get my water filled up. I've really been enjoying cruising up this creek, not so much for the hike, but this creek is so cool and the way the water's cut out all these rocks over time it is super pretty not the easiest hiking because there's not a lot of good area to walk through I either got a bushwhack or walk through the uh, creek itself sometimes but I'm gonna let this just kind of run for you guys for a minute let you sit back there's not a lot of shed hunting here so sit back and enjoy the creek Ben's got a pretty good steak. Here's a situation. I was impatient, getting really hungry. Whipped up this real quick. Yeah, Ben and Keaton roll up. What they create? Those sticks. I was like, the key is to get a green stick. It won't burn your hot dog into the fire. So that's what we're doing. But um, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> Um, a shed hunting video turned to like nature and camping but still pretty fun I had a blast down at the creek but we just didn't get into the sheds today we got our butts kicked today we got like five chalks over there in a pile and they are poverty like stuff we, we, we would normally never pack out good Sweet. copy copy you guys yeah, good I got it. all right we're good what's up guys welcome back to shed tour so yesterday we got completely dominated Completely dominated. We're with Keaton. We got Ben Sandal from Real Hunting, new What's YouTube up? channel that he started with Shed Crazy and Mul Mike the Mullet Man. So go over to Real Hunting YouTube channel to check out his perspective of getting work yesterday. <laughs> if he work. even uploads it. We relocated from yesterday and we actually dropped an elevation. So fingers crossed that this is the zone. So we got me and Matt. We all got radios. We all have a mind of our own. We'll split up and hopefully someone 
can just hit a pocket. And then we'll go to the pocket. For now, poof, go where your heart desires. But wish us luck, because we need it. About two hours into the hike, and I have my first find of the day. We have a deadhead bull, pretty old, right here. got a weird back end kind of crab claws up like that but that's a pretty cool bowl preserved under here I'll drag it out and get some more photos a little steep in here that's that bowl Kinda cool, huh? Has some cool character. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking bowl. Well, no luck for me, but I'm about to meet up with Ben. Hey, what? He's call elk calling me in. He found a set in a single, so it'll be nice to see what an elk antler even looks like since been so long since I've seen one. Ben's got the red line this trip. Good for him, man. He freaking earned it. Benny boy. What's up, dude? Suff out here suffering. Yeah, we love, we love. What? It's Dang. Cool. Heck yeah, he is red. Holy fronts. Yeah. My thoughts, dude. Dang. Oh, he is sweet, dude. Dang, those are some big old bases. Look at that, man. It's frustrating because. Big old heavy G1s. Yeah, you're right. That's brown. Yeah, I was thinking that. I, I don't think. know how you freaking found a brown out here. Right here. Really? Right here. This is the zone? This is the zone. He had a triple brow. Yeah, he did. What yeah. the heck? Sweet beans. How no. do we not match them up? Because I suck. You've been all <laughs> over in here, huh? Dude, I've been working it hard, and it's been uh, it's been brutal. <laughs> He's See, cool. I thought he had this. I didn't even know, pay attention to the fact he didn't have us second there, but then. Dude, that's a gnarly bull. Yeah, it's just that drought year. That one year just really petered out up on top. It's pretty Gosh, cool just a freak. Yeah. Hold him sideways. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's legit. Well, I guess good things happen when you take a break and take a little bath in the creek and cool down and just enjoy the scenery, hiking up this steep, brushy face, as you can see behind me. And I just found probably one of my best horns of the year. It's a chalk and it's chewed, but it's super heavy and has an extra... I'm super excited for this. Check this thing out. He's so cool. Just chewed, but super heavy bull. Oh, guys, look at this antler. Oh, look how heavy that is. Look at that. Oh. He is so cool. Why does he have to be chewed? Look at that thing. Oh, it's so heavy. So much of his beam. I wonder how much would have came off of here. That's a heavy six with this little extra. Oh, two extras look like they got chewed off here. So he would have been an eight. And who knows if he would have had like a little shark tooth back off the beam. Oh, it's so, still so heavy. Look at that. Well, everyone, I think it's time to call on the reinforcements. I'm going to call my buddy Zig and Zag over here and we'll see if we can find this thing. Oh, dude, yeah. that's a sweet antler. Let's go find that other all right, Keaton and I teamed up to create the ultimate cheese dog because he let me use some ketchup. 
<laughs> so the rest was my ingredients, but Keaton had the ketchup, thank goodness. <laughs> what you want to do is fold it. Roll it, doesn't have to be pretty. And you roll it again. Oh, it's hot. Woo! Come on. Let me show you the pile, I mean, Ben's pile of antlers. <laughs> Ben had what we call the red line, where he had the hot line. He found this jumbo set, super unique old bull. Cheater off the fourth, inline off the G1. Keaton found a dead coos buck. It's actually in good condition. Matt found this mega bull that really has some similarities to the fire bull. He's pretty cool, but he's all chalked out. Ben also found this fighter brown probably from this winter i mean either in the rut or the winter they're always breaking their antlers in the winter too and then ben found the mega coos deer shed we showed you guys and the only brown of the trip was also ben look at this dished out burr we're all debating and you guys can get on this in the comments is that because he's old that it's dished out or is that a genetic thing I always assumed it was when they were old, it got more concave in there. But that's it from shed camp, guys. This, this leg of shed tour is coming to an end. I've been out for like 10 days, 11, a heck, I don't even know. Started off hot, cold, hot, cold, 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 cold. <laughs> so, but we're having fun, man. It's always cool hanging out with buddies, but... Don't forget to get in on the New Mexico Elk Hunt giveaway. Go buy some merchandise at GetHushin.com. Don't forget Ben and his new YouTube channel with his partners over at Real Hunting. That's R-E-E-L. Yep. Real Hunting. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box to their channel. Go subscribe to them. Show them some love. And yeah, just want to say thanks to Keaton, Matt, Ben, everyone. It's been a good camp. I wish we got into more of them, but maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs>